Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Yesterday, we covered this newly released GPT 4.5 model from OpenAI and we found out that it was really good at understanding tone and social nuances, especially when it comes to emotional intelligence. That is what makes it quite suitable for agentic software, especially if the agentic software is mimicking a real world. And that is where this camel framework can help a lot. If you don't know what camel is, I have been covering camel a lot on the channel in the previous days. Camel allows you to create customizable agents that are fundamental entities and cornerstone of any agentic software out there, which want to mimic and which, which want to implement the real world scenarios. Camel empowers you to customize agents using modular components for specific tasks and it is quite flexible. You can mold it as you like. In this video, we are going to use a Google Colab free notebook to create an agentic application with the help of Camel powered by this GPT 4.5 and you will see that this match really swells because both of them are targeting the real world problem in a very very pragmatic way so let's get started before i do that let me also thank our good friends at agent bot who are sponsoring this video agent bot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like discord slack and others it is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and i will drop the link to their website in video's description also, if you are interested in learning more about GPT 4.5, I have been covering it a lot in the last couple of days. So just search the channel and you should be able to find heaps of videos. Let me take you to my Google Colab. It's a free Google Colab, which you can just get from colab.research.google.com. Also, I will be dropping the link to the notebook in the video's description. So don't worry about copy pasting the commands which I'm going to use. Also. Uh, I will be using OpenAI's model GPT 4.5 so you would need the OpenAI's keys which you can obtain from platform.openai.com that is a paid option you can just put in around five to ten dollars and get your API key so let's get started so again what we are going to do here we are going to create a chat agent using camel and gpt 4.5 this agent is going to provide clear engaging and context aware responses and it will be grounded in emotional intelligence okay so first up let's install camel it's an open source project we are just installing it from the source from the git let's wait for it to get installed it's pretty lightweight so it shouldn't take too long and camel is installed another cool feature about camel is that it comes up with a model factory which means that it is quite flexible you can use it with a lot of model providers plus with olama and i already have shown you that in various videos where you can install camel with olama with uh, you know a lot of other providers which you can check out on the channel so let's initialize our chat agent and not only I'm initializing it after importing these libraries, I'm setting my OpenAI's API key. And then we are simply uh, printing out the message that model is initialized. So let me run this. It is going to ask for my OpenAI's API key. Let me paste it here and press enter. And that is done. And now let's um, define the agent's role. And this is a simple system prompt which we are using to define our agent where the agent is creative and empathetic. Of course, you can define any sort of personality you want for your agent. So after we have defined the role, let's create the agent. And this is where we are simply uh, instantiating our agent. And this is a simple chat agent which obtains that role and that a model. And now this is how simple it was to create an agent. Now, all we need to do, we just want to interact with our GPT 4.5 powered agent. So let me show you that command. Let me paste it here in the cell. And there you go. So if you look here, it's a very, very simple Python code, with, uh, which does single turn, which does multi turn. And then it is just in the loop where you can start talking with it. So let me run this. It is going to instantiate it and then you can talk with it. 
you see so it is just going through the first it went through the single turn and then multi turn in this array so there are three questions like what are some innovative ideas can you suggest a unique plot and all that stuff you can also make it a prompt worthy and look here so very very concise to the point very rational and objective answers there is no fluff there from gpt 4.5 and this camel's agentic capabilities are directing it in a specific direction there you go so the first one then user asks again agent says plot twist and then it is talking about it does this fit your story so without any break or anything agent is dynamically changing uh, the subject and also answering it in a very very grounded and concise way so for instance if you look at this one that um, what tone should i use to make the narrative engaging so it is just answering it in a very very grounded and targeted way so very very to the point answer i would say and that's about it so you can already appreciate that how easy it has become to create a well-directed agent with camel and with the power of gpt 4.5 we have simply built a fully functional chat agent in minutes and not only it's a chat assistant it has been designed as a conversational AI assistant you can instead of putting it in array you can just start creating a loop and then you can ask it any questions you like whether it's a single turn or multi-turn to demonstrate gpt 4.5 strength and um, if you want to do rag with it you can still use it like in this way and uh, not only that but also there are a lot of other features with camel you can use quite easily i already have covered few and i will be covering few more in the coming days so stay tuned okay and towards the end i also want to answer one, one question about this gpt 4.5 which um, has been asked a lot in the comments from different people that what would be the best use case of this new model so look it's not a reasoning model it's not a frontier model and that has also been acknowledged by openai itself but what it is great at is enhanced everyday interaction so for example if you are just looking for a more grounded general conversational assistant then this gpt 4.5 makes a lot of sense and we just saw it with camel in this notebook so that is the best use case in my opinion but i'm very keen to hear your thoughts on it so please share them in the comments and if you like the content please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel if you are already subscribed then please please do me a favor and share it among your network on your socials because that helps a lot and i'll be very very grateful thank you for all the support